شارژ های غیر مالی که میتونه روی سند املاک به صورت رایج دیده بشه. Lucas, can you kindly explain a little bit about the non-financial charges on titles that are commonly seen? Yes, good question, Amin. Typically, non-financial charges, again, typically come in the form of statutory rights of way, easements, and covenants. Statutory right of way is typically in favor of the municipality, city, district to come onto your property to do work that they might need to do if they're replacing a water main on your street. An easement is typically between two owners, for example, if there's a walkway coming through two of the properties, giving one of the owners owner's access to cross it or use it. Covenants, again, those are formally restrictive in nature, and we'll see a lot of them in West Van that are quite dated where you can't use your property to, to build a pub or a bar or erect a 30-foot wall in the backyard. The reality with statutory rights way easements and covenants is not much can be done about them, particularly older ones. And I, I tell people this too, if they're wanting to do something that is against the covenant that's super dated, they're gonna need to go to the municipality, right, the city or the district anyway to get approval for what they want to do. Again, I'm not saying you shouldn't be concerned about them, but in lots of cases, there's not much that can be done if you as a potential buyer of the place can do about them. Amazing. خب پس سه حالت شد. حالت اول زمانی که شهرداری یا سازمان آب و برق در واقع میتونن به پراپرتی شما دسترسی داشته باشن. حالت دومی هستش که شما باید از ملک شخصی عبور کنی که به ملک خودتون برسید. مثلا اینکه موقعی که میخواین برین به پارکینگ ملکتون برسین، سه چهار تا خونه هستن که فقط یک ورودی دارن از خیابون اصلی و حالت سوم این هستش که مثلا میگن شما نمیتونی سی فود دیوار تو ملکت بسازی یا مثلا تو بریتیش پراپرتیز تو سنت ها هست که دیگه استفاده نمیشه و انجام نمیشه اما مثلا قبلا بودش که این ملک نمیشه به شخص غیر شخص سفید پوست فروش بره که این دیگه انجام نمیشه مرسی که این ویدیو رو نگاه کردید